Hi everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to create a virus scan wrapper API in Azure Logic Apps. We will be using the Postman platform to create our API. As a reminder, this will work the same way in Power Automate with the same connectors. To perform this flow, we will be using a CloudMersive virus scan connector. Before we get started, remember to like and subscribe for more tutorials on using CloudMersive connectors in Power Automate and Logic Apps. First, we're going to need to click Add to create a new flow. Then, you'll have to add in your resource group. You can create a new one or use an existing one. Then, enter a name for the Logic App. Mine is called Virus Scan Wrapper API. After you've done this, click Review and Create, and then press Create. Once your new app has been deployed, go to the resource and click on Blank Logic App for the trigger. Then, you can start your flow. For our trigger, we're going to be choosing when an HTTP request is received. Once you've chosen this trigger, you're going to change the method to post and leave the rest of the trigger blank. Adding the next step, we're going to choose a CloudMersive virus scan connector. Within this category, we will choose the scan a file for viruses action. Note that if you've never used one of our connectors before, you will be prompted to enter your API key. This is free on the CloudMersive website with no commitment and once you've entered it here, you won't be asked for it again. For this action's input file, we need to use an expression. We will use the expression trigger multipart body and in parentheses zero. This will be available in the description below for you to copy and paste into your flow. For our final step, we will choose the response request. The status code should read 200, and in the headers, type in clean result in the first column and add the clean result output into the second column. Then you can leave the rest blank. Once you've completed these input steps, we can save and run our flow. Because we are using Postman to launch our API, this will take a few more steps than usual. After we save our flow, we have to copy the URL that's been populated in our trigger and paste it into Postman. On opening the Postman application, click Create a Request. This will take you to a blank page where you can paste in your HTTP post URL. To the left of the URL, you will see a small box that says Get. We need to change this to Post to match our flow. Below the URL box, click on the header that says Body. For the key, we need to type Input and press Enter. Then hover the cursor on the right-hand side of the key box to choose files rather than text. In the value box, you can then enter in the file you want scanned. Once you've completed all of these steps in Postman, you can run the flow by clicking the Send button next to the URL box. To check if the file scan produced a clean result, check the headers section of the output group on the bottom of the page. Scroll until you see the key for clean result. And if there is no virus attached to the file, the value should read true. You can also check your run history within Logic Apps to make sure that your flow was successful. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to check back in for more tutorials and tips on using CloudMersive connectors in Power Automate.